Our friends literally beat the buzzer to get on here. They like they jumped, jumped on. on. <laughs> We're in Curacao, woo! <laughs> Although it's not a very good day today. It does say that it's supposed to clear up, but right now it's raining, so we're kind of doing our vlog from uh, underneath some shelter here. <laughs> <laughs> today, uh, our friends wanted to do an all-inclusive, so kind of a tough day to pick that one. And uh, But we're doing um, the distillery tour for the, the Curacao distillery. Uh, we're gonna check out uh, a little bit of the town, and we got a little surprise for you guys later that uh, something cool that we're gonna do. So we'll uh, just meet up with a group. We're gonna get some coffees. Hopefully the rain clears up. Fingers crossed for us. Yeah, but let's get this day started. You know, sometimes with cruising, you just gotta roll with the punches. So we went and got our raincoats on and we're gonna manifest some good weather, positive thinking, clear sunshine. Okay, mm -hmm. we're ready. Bring a raincoat with you, you never know. <laughs> yeah, not a ton of people getting off yet with the rain, but. Here we go. Okay, we just arrived at the uh, Sunscape Resort. It was uh, $8 a person for a cab ride, so the whole cab ride's kind of expensive because uh, we had six of us, so it's like a $50 cab ride for, I don't know, 10 minutes. Yeah. So just be aware, the bigger your group, the uh, more it's gonna be. Okay, we're gonna go get our day passes and take a look around. Overall, this resort would be amazing on a hot day, but with the rain, not much to do. We just finished breakfast. I gotta say, it was probably a two out of 10. It was kind of disgusting. Um, I know that, uh, you know, we come from a privileged place that's not lost on me, but the food for how much they charge here was uh, quite gross. So we're going to, uh, they serve alcohol starting at 10. So I'd say if you do come here, you don't need to get the uh, early bird, uh, eight to five. I would I would start here at 10 because they don't start serving drinks till then. And once we get our, once the pool opens at 10 o'clock, we're gonna have drinks and try to make the best of it. Uh, but the actual resort itself is beautiful. Check this out. Kayla, what do you think so far? <laughs> so far, not uh, not the best. And not we're best. not we're not picky travelers. Like we 
pretty easy to please. It's because of the weather though. The weather okay, was good. If the be weather fine. was better, like this is very beautiful. Like the beach is gorgeous, the water is gorgeous, like all this stuff is still beautiful. Even in the rain, it's still beautiful. Yep. But the service and the food. Yeah, I was just talking about that. It's Not good. Bad. Yeah, it's kind of bad. Yeah. Um, we yeah. we talked to someone in the food line who has been coming here for like 11 years, and they said they're not coming back downhill. again. Which is so which is strange. If you look on Viator or like TripAdvisor, it's got like four Great or five reviews. stars. So, I mean, and the reviews actually from the other travelers were good. So, it must be coming downhill uh, over the years. Um, but we're gonna try to make the most of it. Mm -hmm. Gonna get some cool drinks in a minute here and just setting up on the beach. Underneath the umbrellas, it's not so bad. Yeah, I'm really hoping the sky's kind of clear, at least rain. If it's yeah. not raining, we can make the best of it. Yeah. How's the Blue Lagoon? It's very sweet, but uh, very Tasty, good. right? Yeah, very tasty. What's Jerry doing? Ready? Make more friends? We're ready. Go for it, Ryan. Ryan is manifesting good weather by swimming. Even though it's raining here, this water is just stunning. I got Ryan a Royal Caribbean like water shirt that has like UVA, UVB protection. And uh, I guess it's called a rash guard, is what everyone's been calling it. He's very happy about it. Looks great on him. Pretty see-through, <laughs> but looks excellent. Yeah, it's super see-through, but it looks good. Hard to believe that that's UVA and UVB resistant. Huh? Yeah. How was the water? It was good. It was yeah? Warm. Warm? Warmer yep. than out here? Yeah, I don't even know it's raining anymore. Perfect, yeah. Okay, this was good. What's our next drink? Uh, maybe uh, Marg? Mm -hmm. We didn't really get our money's worth for the food, so we are going to definitely make sure we get our money's worth in drinks today. Damn straight. Marg? I'm thinking like maybe a pina. Okay. I don't know. Pina Surprise colada. me. Okay. We'll see. I guess that means I'm getting it. Yeah, please. <laughs> now, I don't want to jinx it, but ever since I jumped in the water, it hasn't rained. So I just sent up the drone, knock on wood, that it doesn't come back, the day is turning around. <laughs> it's a wee chilly, but Kayla's in the pool. Okay, the lunch, not Much bad, better. not bad. We went from a two out of 10 this morning to uh, like a solid five, five out of 10. Yeah, it was pretty good. They had things like uh, a hamburger, which wasn't good, but hot dog, which was good. The french tacos. fries were really good. I really like the french fries. The um, nachos were yep. not bad. Nachos, and it was something for Kayla to eat, so yeah. that's important. Anyway, it was much better than earlier. Mm -hmm. And the weather cleared up a little. It's a little less cloudy. It stopped raining, thank goodness. Yep. And but uh, now we have to go. <laughs> yep, we're gonna catch a cab over to the Curacao Distillery. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Sunscape. It's been interesting. It was a good time, but it could have been better. The uh, resort was really nice. Food could have been better, but generally not a bad day. And we're off to the uh, distillery. Okay, we're here at the Chobo Lobo Curacao Distillery. It was uh, $20 Canadian per person. Apparently we've got the deluxe package. It comes with two cocktails and one ice cream, but the ice cream is closed. For now. So I hopefully we can get another. On the way in, I talked to a couple that just came from the tour and they were sufficiently buzzed. They said nice. if you do the deluxe tour, you'll come out with like a pretty solid buzz. There so we go. Here's awesome. Hoping. Yeah, maybe we can get the ice cream scoop as uh, another shot. I'm wondering if they close it maybe until after the tour and then open it again. I don't know, we'll see. But I did hear to get the ice cream. But we'll grab some footage along the way through the tour and uh, you guys can see if this is something you want to do. What happened to the naranjas? They grow, but they grow horrible. <laughs> 
<laughs> because if you ever have seen a normal orange tree, it doesn't look like that. They are a lot bigger, a lot wider. This one has thorns or spikes. And also the orange turn out green. We know it looks like a lime, but it's an orange. Now, the taste of this thing is horrible to taste. <laughs> it's very bitter, it's very sour, it's very acid. Sometimes when you eat this, there's a big chance your tongue is gonna be asleep or numb for Ooh. one to two hours. Wow, <laughs> yeah, that's a dental uh, product. Now, the funny part is we use this product, this fruit, sorry, to make the liquid of curacao. Hmm. We don't use the actual fruit, so we don't use the inside, we only use the peel, the outside. Hmm. Hmm. We make a distillation from that. This is a really interesting tour. We're about to do the tastings now. Um, what, what we thought was really interesting was that the, all the different colors of curacao are actually the same flavor. They've been lying to us this whole time. So it doesn't matter if you get blue or orange or green or red, it's all the same. Just the They do have a couple different flavors though, like chocolate and coffee, I think, and that sort of thing. Tamarind, uh, chocolate and coffee are their like, flavored ones. Oh, and a uh, rum raisin. Yeah. So that was really cool. Also, the bottle is shaped that way because when you're holding the long stem, it looks like the Lahara orange that they use. Uh, they take the peels off and that's how they make it. Mm -hmm. So so it's interesting. Yeah, All very cool. We're going to do our tastings now. Yeah. All right, so we're going to try the uh, chocolate. chocolate. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, that's, that's very chocolatey, actually. It's very chocolatey. It's good. They give you like the small little amount, though. Like, it's yeah. basically like, Oh, yeah, it's just in this little cup here, but... I feel like they put this in desserts or something, or I'm not exactly sure, maybe a mudslide or something. Yeah, that'd be good but, in with something. Yeah, very good. Huh? Yep, you haven't taken yours yet, so. Yeah. All right, yeah, how's the orange one? Well, it's just, just curacao, so it's like the one oh, yeah. flavor. That's right. The, the, the true See, flavor. See, Caleb is listening. True flavor, it's yeah. just curacao. It's good. They're right, it is like a very sour mm -hmm. kind of fruit, so I can't imagine, like, if this is it distilled with 800 pounds of sugar, I can't imagine what it tastes like before. Yeah. But it's good. You know, for 20 bucks, we got two cocktails, ice cream, and the tour. And I'm talking 20 Canadian. So whatever that is, American, um, like 16, 17 dollars probably. Uh, it's actually a very good deal. Uh, we had a great time, and uh, we learned a lot, cool pieces of information, and I'd highly recommend this. It was a lot of fun. So this was the uh, surprise I was talking about earlier. We got this little heart lock thing, and we put our uh, initials on it. And what we're gonna do is uh, lock our love into these heart mm -hmm. locks. It's just, it's like a cute little thing you can do. And I suggest uh, picking up a lock for your Curacao trip if you're on your way here. So, let's go lock it in. Okay, Kayla, where's a good spot? Um, okay, so Aaron and Jared put theirs down here. Okay. So, we gotta remember where we put it so we can uh, look for it one day. I'm sure it'll be cut off. Ours doesn't have an unlock, so once we lock it in, that's it. And there we go. It's on. We're a part of history now. <laughs> We're on the Queen Emma Bridge. I heard this was pretty cool, so we're gonna just sit here until it opens. And at night, I heard it's very pretty because these are all string lights above us. So oh, at it's night, not dark it's enough really yet. Pretty. But we don't. Uh, our sailaway is not till eight o'clock, so maybe we'll get to see it. I see a couple of boats kind of waiting, so I'm wondering if it's gonna swing open while we're standing on it. Yeah, hopefully. I think we're starting to move. Yeah. We just heard some ringing. I heard some ringing. I saw an orange flag go up. Yeah. I can hear a motor. 
Things are happening. Here we go. Our friends literally beat the buzzer to get on here. They like they jumped, jumped on. on. <laughs> I can't even remember where we left off of. We did the Queen Emma Bridge, that was really cool. It opened up as, as boats came through. That was a pretty cool experience. I uh, did some drone footage for you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And now we're just taking some nighttime pictures of the ship. Again, it's beautiful here in Curacao at nighttime. And we're headed back to the ship now. Uh, rumor has it we're gonna be going to Izumi, but I'm not exactly sure. We're gonna sort it out when we get back. It's kind of late, so I'm, I don't think we'll be going to the main dining room. Dressed up for Caribbean night. Uh, it's been a long day. We had a great day in Curacao. We've been, it was eight to eight. So we've been outside since 8 a.m. this morning and it's now 7.23. So we like just made it back on. We're gonna go to Izumi tonight. Um, but everything I have, like all my batteries need to charge because I don't know how much we'll show, but it, I did a lot of filming today, a lot of drone footage. The microphone's about to die as we speak. So <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna call it here. We just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Uh, please continue to follow along. We appreciate you a lot. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna be in Aruba mm -hmm. and we're gonna go to Palm Beach and Eagle get Beach? some, no Palm Beach, Palm and we're gonna Beach. get some Dutch pancakes oh. and just have a great day. Hope the weather's a little better tomorrow. We'll fingers see. Crossed. But uh, fingers crossed and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.